Hey guys, so this is kind of a hodgepodge of all these screen caps that we have saved that are too small for a video, but you seem to like the mix match of things, so... I enjoy them, yeah. I, and I think they're pretty funny. So let's just get into this, will we? <laughs> oh, whoa, guys, I just had the worst experience. Who starts off a story with, I just had the worst experience, but then starts <laughs> with, ha ha, oh, whoa. <laughs> whoa, calm you down there. So, you know I got bumped up to Palace Guard recently, right? New plumes, new tabard, halberd, all shined up with some tassels hanging from it. Only part I don't like, fuck tassels. <laughs> yeah, fuck tassels. Yeah, fuck tassels, they get in the way. <laughs> and one of those sweet crossbows with the goat's foot. So, the elven delegation is coming in, and we've all been told to keep an absolute tip-top shape for it. Kit polished, no spitting on duty, eyes straight ahead. You know what I mean, right? So there's this one elf chick with the delegation. And I swear to Pelor, hottest, most lithe little thing I've ever seen. Tiny, but hot as fuck. This sounds like a court case. No, you know, finally, it's going to end up being a blue elf. He's going to smash that pussy. <laughs> <laughs> He's going to smash it good. So she starts making eyes at me, and I figure, hey... Only live once, right? <laughs> YOLO! <laughs> Please don't say that, Megan. <laughs> so while the ambassador is hobnobbing and I'm off duty, we go into his unused observatory in the Northwest Tower and start doing what any two adults would do in, the situa in this situation, oh god. Midway through, though, the door slams open and the elf ambassador stomps in, while we're still half naked on the table, and just stares in shock and disbelief. You know when you're about to have your entire life crash down around you? How you remember even the tiniest details? Well, I'll never forget the one word he said then and there. Grandma? Oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> Lucky for me, he was apparently too embarrassed to report it. Otherwise, I'd be out my ass right now. Well, look, that's better than what I expected, that's to be honest with you. <laughs> and let's be honest with you, he isn't going to fuck... And, and he, who actually is going to turn down some fine-ass gilf elf, you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> let's be serious. We go into his unused observatory in the Northwest Tower and start doing what any two adults would do in the situation. Engage in Shit. genteel, refined conversation regarding the configuration of astronomical <laughs> constellations <laughs> in the night sky, the nature of stars, as massive astronomical bodies which fuse atoms and hydrogen and helium to create heavy elements. In fact, almost every atom in the universe is... Well, we all get this. We yeah, know what okay. he's this is why the elf women are going to human men, Lethandriel. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's be serious. I'm going to have sex with this female flamatronic from Oblivion. I find the flamatronics in the Elder Scrolls IV Oblivion sexy. <laughs> well, I wonder what he thinks of the the Earth ones from uh, Skyrim as well. Like, that's a bit more safe. Let's oh, be honest, yeah. you're going to burn your cock off doing yeah. this. Like, let's be serious, guys. However, their body is made up of an 87% fire and a 100% fire surrounds them. That could kill me if I tried to have sex with one. Well, at least he's being practical. Yeah. To remedy this, the flamatronic casts a spell on me, making me resistant to fire. Keep in mind, resistance is not the same as immune. I still take damage. It's either one point or zero points of damage each second I'm having sex with her. Oh, for God's sake. Like, what... <laughs> Just because a particular second causes zero points of damage does not mean that I did not feel anything. It just means I took no damage. I am not going to rush, though, having sex with this flamatronic. I make sure I pleasure everything I have, no I have sex with. I've genuinely no words for this. You know the thing is, I, I want them to believe this is real. I hope it is. I want this to be real. Especially non-humans. I'd rather take damage than non than not pleasure the fl what? Oh my god. I'd rather take damage than not pleasure the flamatronic. The flamatronic and I go to the plains of oblivion to have sex. When having sex with non humans, it is always sexier to have sex in their natural habitat rather than a human's natural habitat. The plains of oblivion is the flamatronic's natural habitat. Please stop saying habitat. <laughs> I, look, guys, can you tell me if this is real or not? I've I feel seen, like I'm reading a nature documentary. I've seen that many of these that I'm convinced that it is true. Before we went into the Plains of Oblivion, the Flamatronic let all the Daedra know that we are just here for sex. The Daedra... What? <laughs> 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 By the way, guys, uh, you know, I'm going to open up her gates of oblivion for fuck's sake. <laughs> I'm going to smash your gates in. The Daedra will not attack us because they know that I'm here at the Plains of Oblivion on sexual business. This, this I feel like I'm reading a Sonic 2. 
This is Sonic Tree. This is this is top tier Sonic Tree yeah. edition. This includes the Dramora. However, the Dramora Markness think I'm going to be an easy recruit for becoming a follower of Mayron's Dagon, considering that I am having sex with a Flametronic. However, I have no interest in becoming a Daedra. Well, that's good. I mean, like, you know, at least he doesn't want to, like, you know... I feel like my brain's seeping out my I have no... That, that, that was painful, to be honest with you. Next one. Yeah, next post, please. Walk in the streets at night. See this. What do? Offer her my coat to cover up and a ride home. Help her up and carry her disoriented body to my place. Let her sleep in my bed as I sleep on the couch. Deal with her freak out when she wakes up. Ask her if she's okay. You don't have to tell me what happened, but you do have to eat this. As I hand her a bowl of eggs. <laughs> what did you eat? Like one egg, please. One egg. Ask if she needs a ride home. Tell her to take care. Wizard detected. <laughs> Honestly, like that. I'm sorry, but see if you do that. Don't do this, guys. I don't think I, this, I need to tell you this, but just don't. Somebody said, Jesus Christ, you were the creepy one at school, weren't you? <laughs> <laughs> Hi, you awake? What, why are you screaming? Please stop. Here, eggs. <laughs> but please don't go. Door slams. I love you too. <laughs> you have to eat all the eggs. <laughs> why are you doing this? Why, why does he say, here, take the eggs? You have to eat the eggs. Did, did, did he eat that somewhere? Maybe it's like, oh, you know the best way to deal with a hangover? Eggs. Eggs. I, be, I bet you any money that's what he... Yeah, that's exactly what it is. <laughs> so if any guys ever like just picked up a stranger, like you're fine, and... Uh, Oh, fed, fed them, them a, eggs. Fed them eggs in the morning. That's honestly some Stephen King novel that shit. Is, That's that Stephen is. King shit going on right there. Sauron has regained much of his former liquidity. He cannot yet take corporative, <laughs> corporative, corporative form. form. But his greediness has lost none of his potency. Concealed within his skyscraper, the CEO of Mordor sees all. His audits pierces policy, appeals, collaterals and tax havens. You know of what I speak, Gandalf. <laughs> a great accountant, lidless and wreathed in flame. He is gathering all evidence to him. Very soon he will summon an army of lawyers great enough to launch litigation upon Middle Earth. Trademark. <laughs> Arise! Arise, Arise bankers, bankers of Theodon! <laughs> Stocks have been shaken! Contracts <laughs> shall be splintered! A crash <laughs> day! A black, a black day! day. <laughs> Ear the markets open! <laughs> bid now! Nice. Bid now! Nice. Bid! Bid to ruin the markets! Ending! Debt! 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 Debt. <laughs> Debt. Fourth! <laughs> Elengus! <laughs> I can I, 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 I love this too much. Theoden, why should I welcome you, Gandalf Tax Crew? <laughs> <laughs> Worm tongue, just a question, my leash. Late is the hour in which the auditor chooses to appear. Tax spell, I name him. Ill news is an ill guest. <laughs> <laughs> the face went too dumb to make Lord of the Ring tax names. <laughs> I don't know, I love this concept. Where is the stock in the profit? Where is the bubble that was growing? They have passed like rain in the mountain, like money on a woman's hand. <laughs> <laughs> the graph has gone down in the west behind the hills and a deficit. How did it come to this? Much so, reckless So much debt. What can, can, what can do against such reckless, reckless rates? <laughs> I love this. Honestly, I wish this was a bigger thing. Yeah, I want, the, I want I this to be a, like that. a serious meme. I think it's got I so it's, it's got so much meme potential. It's pure magic. Hey guys, this is just a quick bit of promo. We got our website up and running and we have a massive restock on most of the models. However, one of the cool things about the website is if there's a model that you're waiting on, you can enter your email and be put on a waiting list. And it's not just good for you so then you'll know when they're restocked. We can also see what you guys are waiting on and what we should be printing. <laughs> so either way, the models are f by far the best way to support this channel and to help us do videos that YouTube would find inappropriate on the platform. <laughs> and like, let's be serious. The models are pretty based looking. So once again, just look at the titties. Look at the lizard titties. <laughs> but anyway, let's continue on with the video. How do I roll an autistic character? What class would be the best and why wizard? <laughs> Just be yourself. <laughs> yeah, you'll be fine. Don't worry about it. <laughs> New player to the group. Nice guy, but quiet. 
plays a young but stoic barbarian, heavily scarred and muscular, helps the party kill things but never says much. Cleric decides to pry. Barbarian explains that his tribe would gather together all the infants and raise them separately from the rest of the tribe, under brutal conditions within a deep silver mine. When the child had their 10th birthday, their parents would be given the choice to claim them and raise them, or to effectively abandon them. He had been very sickly as a young child, but worked and trained hard in the hopes that his parents would claim him when he turned 10. Despite all of his efforts, he remained thin and weak, and his 10th birthday came and went without his parents claiming him. He was forced to join the other rejected children, where their role was raising the younger children within the mine. And like the other rejected children, he vented his frustrations out by bullying the younger children. As years passed, he became quite brutal, and one night took a beating too far and ended up killing a young girl. He was exiled and forced down further into an abandoned section of the mine, where he lived off of raw, young cave crabs, and in the endless darkness slowly grew convinced that he was being haunted by the dead child. He'd often get possessed by the spirit, and wake up surrounded by giant adult crab carcasses. After months in the darkness, he had killed the last of the crabs in a fit of blind rage, and facing starvation, decided to escape to the surface. As he emerged, he discovered that he had radically transformed and easily fought off his adult tribesmen. Fighting his way to the centre of the tribe, he demanded answers from the chief. He learned that his parents had tried to claim him, but the quota of children allowed out of the mine had already been reached for that particular year. Enraged by this, he began to savagely beat the chief, but before he could kill him, he became possessed by the spirit of the young girl. He forced him to turn and flee. He ran for many miles tirelessly hoping to lose himself, and find himself in a distant land where he learned to use his strength and brutality to earn coin. Cleric mentions that he never answered the original question of, how did you get that scar on your face? I don't know, a crab maybe? <laughs> <laughs> For God's sake, that's like one of those ones, you know where they end, it ends and it's like, um, scary fall out of the pocket. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> how do you deal with problematic players? I kill them. <laughs> that. Honestly, that's why it should be done, ends. let's be serious with you. No more. <laughs> Don't use acid damage as your primary, they said. You'll be a worthless wizard, they said. Mr. Blue Sky MP3 engage. <laughs> <laughs> be a draconic bloodline sorcerer. Learn how to enchant stuff. Take elemental bane. Enchant the rogue's knife with it. Enchant the ranged fighter's sling with it. Enchant dentures of lizard folk with it. What, so you made a Komodo dragon? Something like that, anyway. <laughs> I don't know. Convince DM to allow you to make custom spells that replace other elemental damage types with poison and acid in exchange for bigger dice. Invest in rings of water breathing and airtight, waterproof helmets. Fight a green dragon. Fighter plinks it with arrows. Its resistances are gone. Lizard folk hexes it and gives it a disadvantage on con saves. Watch as it tries to acid breath you, but melts its own throat from the inside out. Add insult to injury by using stinking clouds so it vomits and loses a turn. Let Rogue sneak attack while safe with his goldfish bowl helmet from the scent of a thousand neckbeards. <laughs> Victory! Fighting greater demon that flies. Hit it with that elemental bane again. Tell everyone else to whip out their wands and make Melf proud. Bukaki demon oh my god! Piss beams. Oh my god. beams. <laughs> oh Repeat firing line until melted by the power of your magical realm made manifest. Victory! <laughs> yeah. Fight acid elemental. Use fireball. Very good wizard keeps fireball prepared. <laughs> there you go. You gotta keep your fireballs. You know you can't. You can't say no to them. So there, guys, that's where we're going to end it. Um, these were just like you know, I've just had these scan about. Yeah. You know what I mean? And, and it's yeah, just they're too small to make a full video. On, yeah, so and I've just been screenshots that I've you seen. You seem to like them though. Yeah, these all seem to like. Mish having match. a wee bit of a mix match of yeah. everything thrown in. I like them though. I, what I, was your favourite one? Yeah, I particularly, I, I don't know, I groaned quite every of the guy that wanted to fuck the deed or whatever the fuck it is. But yeah. like, let's be serious, the Lord of the Rings tax memes. Like the grandma one yeah, was my favourite. Yeah, the grandma one was pretty good as well. Yeah. Yeah, that one was pretty solid. So as always, go check out the <laughs> links and the adverts and go to the website, check out the models and check out all the subclasses that we have there as well. They're really good. And go and hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell so you get notified yeah, every you time guys, we You post. guys know how it is. You know everything. You know this. We've been over it a million times. If you subscribe, I may just suck your dick. Although I won't. But I might. <laughs> no, he won't. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, look, guys, see you later. Enjoy. Bye.